Hello everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and I am back for Cat Scrappiness. I am here to share with you my design theme package for August and also a couple of things that I purchased from the shop. I know this is a bit late, our haul should always be around the first week but I was already traveling, I've been so jet lagged and I just got back so I wanted to share this with you before August ends. So I'm going to share with you my August design team package first and I will show you a couple of samples that I made using those supplies and then I will also show you the extra things that I got from the shop. So they are all available and I will be linking all of the supplies in the description box below. So the first thing that you see over here is the new stitched scallop border dies and you get five border dies on this one and I had a giveaway on my Instagram and I gave it to two lucky followers so if you are not following me yet on Instagram you should go over there and follow me because I also do giveaway on Instagram and I gave away two of these border dies. The next thing that you see here is the stitch scallop collage frame die and I will show you a photo of a card. It was a shaker card that I created using this die set. This is really cute, but I actually left that card in Florida when I was there. But let me show you that. This is what it looks like. And that's how I created it. This is really good because it's a storybook die. And this is really cute to use for your Halloween cards, Christmas card, and things like that. So that's the card I made using this die. And then the next thing that I have here is this stitch diagonal backdrop die. And this is so great because it cuts like butter and you can create your shaker cards using this die. It's just so easy and this is the card that I made using this die and this is also a new sequin mixed by Cat Scrappiness all of this is from Cat Scrappiness and this is the Lawn Fawn stamp set that you can find also at the shop and then this is called the White Hearts sequin mix and then this Missing You is also a Cat Scrappiness die and as you can see it's very easy to create beautiful cards using this new die and I really love it. It cuts like butter. The next die is called Stitch Scallop Heart Dies and I've also already used this but I don't have the card here with me right now. And then the next thing that I have here is a new stamp set called Crafters Gonna Craft and I'm going to show you a card that I made using this stamp set and this is really cute because you since you're a crafter you can use it for so many different projects and here is the card that I made one of the cards that I made and I stamped the images and just this is just a one layer card and it's really nice and easy to use and this is another one using the stitch collage scallop frame and this stamp set as well and I think it's really adorable. And then for my haul in August, I got a few things. I got this Gina K Design stamp set and I really love it because you can stamp this on your cards and I love that not a bill, happy mail, handmade card, smiles across the miles and happy hello. Really cute. And then I also got this die set. This is like a puzzle heart piece from Technique Tuesday. This is called Pieces of My Heart. And Kat also now sells Heffy Doodle stamps in her shop. So I got this stamp set and I also got the coordinating dies with it. And this stamp set is called hmm, Watch Saying. 
It has a couple of sentiments. It's really cute if you were if you have critters on your card and it has this peach bubble that you can stamp it and then die cut it with the speech bubble dies. And then there's also a new um, stamp company available at the shop and it is called this Wit and Sass. So this one is the tree and I don't have the name but I will be linking everything of course in the description box below. And these are just some small stamps that you can purchase to create your scene. You can stamp on it looks like the sand so it's like a beach scene or something like that and then I got the Gina K designs and this one is called Autumn Wreath Builder and Jennifer McGuire actually shared this on her video a few weeks ago and I really love this so I purchased that I also purchased this Echo Park uh, what is this spider web spider cobweb stencil and since Halloween is coming I will be creating more Halloween projects and then I got this set because it includes the wreath builder stencil so it already comes with this this is actually the bundle and this one is can't remember what this one is called but it has like floral and hearts and leaves and things like that. And then the last two things that I got, this one is a wit and sass stencil. And then a memory box swirl stitch clouds. So those are the things that I got this month and I'm sorry for the delay but they're all available at the shop. Don't forget to check out the new dies available and next month there will be more dies available for September so use the coupon code MARIA10 for 10% off your order when you're placing an order at the shop and don't forget to check out the clearance section and all the new things coming in the shop and are now available some of them just coming soon and even the, lo the new lawn fawn is available now at the shop so thank you again for joining me don't forget to use your coupon code and have an amazing day and happy crafting